Do do do. Hey guys, Nice Mars here again. Uh, I'm back with another episode on this server, and <laughs> I did actually manage to die yet again. So, a little bit of an update. I have actually upgraded this furnace to an iron one, so it, it now works faster, basically. And I've started to smoke. Oh, hang on, what's happened down here? Yeah, so <laughs> i kind of done a little bit more work off camera. So what I'm basically doing here is smelling up all of our stuff. Now these machines, this is the bat box that I said I'd make to store all our power. Obviously this is that generator we made. I've, I've threw a hopper here so that we can uh, place stuff in the hopper and then it gets automatically put into here. Just got a bunch of tin wire back here. Um, obviously the second electric furnace you seen me make last episode. Uh, so that's just that's just here. And then obviously this macerate feeds into this furnace. Now the extractor is awesome. Basically, it allows me to put the um, you know that wood that I get from the rubber trees. I think it should be here somewhere, but I can't see it. Um, basically, yeah, here it is. This rubber wood you can throw it in here, and then it gives you out this this rubber here. So it's awesome. I think we can also use sticky resin uh, and smell that down to make them as well. Uh, so I basically went ahead and threw all of my wood in there to get myself a whole bunch of, uh, where is it, rubber. I've got 32 of them right now, which is kind of what we needed. Needed some more rubber, and I'll just go ahead and throw that hopper in, in here. Volcano, right over there. So what we're probably going to do is get ourselves a pump. Um, probably going to be one of these pumps search pump uh, the BC factory pump but I don't really like the BC factory pump it's a great pump but compared to the endothermic pump it's rubbish like com completely rubbish but the endothermic pumps only really good in the nether uh, so for now we're just gonna make ourselves a BC pump which is fairly straightforward just some iron an iron gear uh, a tin brushing which is a new way of doing this think okay that's giving me the railcraft one uh i want to use this gear the billcraft one so it goes down the rabbit hole and now you may remember we you yesterday we accidentally made this uh this iron gear this basic gear so i'm actually going to use that to make this um this pump because i, I kind of want to use it wait so i'm going to throw that in there with some iron around it and then get ourselves an iron gear and then we're going to make the tank, which is just some glass. We have got plenty of sand. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to make that up. I've actually got an iron pick, though. Do you not like that pick? That is how you do it, right? Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to make... I I can't even remember anymore. <laughs> I can't even... can't... Oh, yeah, the drum. The drum. We'll, we'll make a drum. Uh. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Let's grab that. So we need uh, two of these. Da, 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 da. There we go. Drum. So we'll place that on top of that thing and then we'll grab ourselves a portable tank and um, we can run up and down with it, I guess. Wait, is, um, we'll make one of these mag is magnetic dynamos. What? Is Lapis is via 1.8. Uh, okay. We, we need... Uh, we have silver, that's what I think. <laughs> Do we have silver? Hello, silver? Yep, yeah, okay. Making this infar, um, we'll have to pulverize. Can we? Okay, we need to make a pulverizer, which means we're going to have to get into thermal expansion stuff to be able to do this. Oh, hang on, no, we can macerate now. Oh, that's perfect. Because it says... Oh, I have to actually macerate the ingots. Ah, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense that you'd have to do that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do all this. And I'll be right back, everyone. Hey, guys, I'm back. And uh, I've realised we made way too much iron dust. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Let's let's go ahead and get this invar smelted. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna smelt that just in case we didn't make enough invar. Not like it matters because we have no ferrets left. <coughs> but yeah, anyway. So other stuff we're gonna need redstone and I think iron. Yeah, and that's about it. So we'll just uh, take out some of this redstone. Uh, I am actually gonna go mining. Um, after we get this pump set up, um, because, well, yeah, and then we'll have an efficient setup, oh, imagine that, again, so we need, no, we're not making a pump, we already have a pump, we need to make the, um, what's that, we need to make a dynamo, the magnetic, magnetic dynamo, there we go, so let's make two of these gears, Let's go ahead and make a coil. We need our silver for this. I always get confused at what silver looks like. Silver's that one, okay. Because it's shiny. Uh, we'll make one of these. Oh. And then. Make. Ah, perfect. I can't see them. Okay, I found them. Okay, so we need the power, which is this red one here. And to get this, we need an alloy smelter, which is that guy. So we need some furnaces, machine casing, copper, gold nuggets. Okay. So we basically just need some copper, some silver, which we have enough of in our inventory, I believe. One, two... We need one more silver. I really need to get some more silver if we're going to do more thermal expansion stuff. Okay. Steam dynamo. And we will throw this. You know what? We'll head down here. And it can go... Right here. Stick that above it. So this basically just takes coal, so we'll split that coal in half and throw it in. Ah, yeah, it needs water in this early on, but uh, oh well, I guess we're going to be maybe we scoom later. This here basically just sits below this, so we will go ahead and uh, throw this down here. So we'll stick him there, and then we'll grab our bucket. Just go out here and get another bucket of water as well. Oh. Okay, perfect. And I guess we'll just we'll just leave that open for now. And we should really get a leadstone energy cell online as well, just so we can store all this power. Okay, perfect. So now we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, and then once we get this, we'll just throw that, like, above it. So we'll move this over. Move it right there. You know what, we will fill this in after all. Okay, and then we'll throw the leadstone cell here. And then if we need other, any other machines, we can just throw one up there. Perfect. Oh, it's done. I still haven't made this project table yet either. We should do that as well. What are we missing? Lead. <laughs> you can't make a leadstone energy cell without lead. Oh, jeez, I'm such an idiot. No. We can't craft in a furnace. Perfect. 
So now we can we can store that power. Because obviously I'm not sure if you can turn these things on and off. So so I think no blues input. So that should be filling with power now. Yes, no, maybe. So we'll throw two. I don't know how much you get from each one though. You should probably check that. Um, you only get one, so this will give us two. And then we need one more. And we can put upgrades in here as well actually. So if we head up here, we will make uh, the basic capacitor again. And we'll see how much the next upgrade costs. Double layer, two of them, pulverized cool, energetic alloy. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do them off camera and I'll try and get to the top tier one for us. Which is just a vibrant. Which is, oh no, we, okay, we can get to the double layer but we can't get to the oct, octic one. Octad one, just shit. Which is a shame. We have two of them. Okay, the third one's smelting, so we'll wait for this and then we should be able to get ourselves the uh one of these. <laughs> oh, eight of them. Eight oh, okay, that's that's pretty okay. I'm happy with that. Craft this up. Ah uh, yeah, we need these as well. We need sand, clay and gravel. Clay, gravel, sand. Ah, look at that, we've got everything we need. Plenty. Uh, we'll throw that in there. Okay, nice. And then down here we'll throw that in. Oh, okay, we can't, so we'll have to wait for the double layer to do that. Throw that one in there. Perfect. Um, oh <coughs> we'll put our injector upgrade back. So now it's time to head up to the top of this this mountain thing. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, we haven't even made the geothermal generator yet, have we? So the geothermal is just a generator with some glass, re batteries and iron. So that's um it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Let's grab our generator. Let's come up here, grab our iron casting. So we need two of them, some glass. And apparently empty empty cells. Do we need to make a metal former for this? Metal former on tin plates. We should be able to use a hammer though. Extruding. Okay, so we need to make a metal former. No big deal. Useful machine as well. Just take some coil, which is just some copper wire, so it's really cheap. And then the toolbox, which is also really cheap. So I mean, there's there's not really anything hard here. Make twenty. Okay. We don't have any iron plates. I thought we did. Yeah, we do have iron plates. Why are you not making? I've only got four redstone. Oh, can we? Will we be able to do this or not? We'll set it right here. Metal former. We've got enough power to uh, to do a few of these these plates. Uh, so we'll make we'll make some plates. With let's let's say two of them for the geothermal. Uh, now we don't have to use our hammer. We can get more plates. See, so a tin plate makes that, and then to get a tin plate, you can actually use the metal former and roll it out with tin ingots. So we'll roll them out. There we go. Now we'll put that onto extruding. And we'll get ourselves those uh, re-batteries we need. Two empty cells. 
Not re batteries, cells. Ah, we get three of them. That's perfect. So we'll make ourselves six of these then uh, to use in the future. And it's pretty quick as well, actually. I'm, I'm glad we made that machine. That's awesome. Uh, we should have everything, right? No? What, don't we, what are we missing? Ah, right. Let's, let's just put this in manually then. Oh, no, we're missing glass. That's what we're missing. Perfect. Look at that. So we'll throw this right there, and then our tank will be off the back of that. So if we head outside and go around the back here... Our tank will be right there. That's where we're going to put it. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll do our tank on the corner. That's what we'll do it. And then we'll build ourselves a little conduit. That will bring it round. Or not a conduit. A, uh, we'll, we'll make something okay. <laughs> the Ender IO liquid conduit thingy. Let's see, how hard is that to make? Ender IO. The liquid the liquid one, so we need quite clear glass. Chisel. We can turn with a with a chisel? Huh. Can we not use normal glass for you? No. Alright, let's make a chisel then. What are these guys? She's just a stick and some iron. Stick, iron, chisel. Now we can use this and get ourselves some quite clear glass. And now we should be able to make ourselves those those things. Now we'll go around the back here. And we will uh, we'll throw down this this conduit around the back like that. And I think we do have to change the mode on it. Extract perfect. So now whatever we put in here will automatically be put into that generator. So now let's venture to the top of this. God knows how we're getting up there. Aha, we have made it. We're actually at level 126 right now. And uh, I must say, it's, uh, it's a little bit scary up here. <laughs> Knowing how high up I am. So we're just going to isolate this block right here. Now, I believe that's actually the... The, like a source block so we're gonna throw the pump I don't even know if this goes down further but we'll throw a pump right there this is actually where I came up so I'm gonna gonna place two blocks there and now up here I do let's see let's let's break this so we can still see lava coming out and then around here is where we're gonna do our power so we're going to get our dynamo, we're going to connect it into one of these, okay, and then around this side, and we should just throw our water there for now, and we're going to have to grab some lava, how, how are we going to do this? Um, We need some lava to get the pump going. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Our pump is set. And it's ready to go. Pumping away all of that lava. So now we need a drum. Place that around here. Do 
Yes, look at that. That is a lot of, that's going on really quickly. And I found out we, we should have brought a crescent hammer up with us. Give me, give me that back. Okay, so we'll come around here and we'll just be like, yeah, you know what? I want some lava and it will fill it up. Perfect. And then we could just place another pipe here and then we can connect them up. Yeah, okay, we definitely should have brought up a crescent hammer. Okay, guys, we're back down, and uh, I'm actually going to harvest our berries that we have here. Give me all the berries, please. Fill up our tanks with these. These portable tanks. Let's grab our crescent hammer that we should have had that whole time, and we didn't. We need something to fill these up, so we'll just... Done! Perfect. That'll do. So now if we go ahead and throw these in, you can see yeah, it has to be three different types of berry. But yeah, these are amazing. I've shot, I Can we oversaturate? Yes! And you can oversaturate on them. That is awesome. We will be using these, and I want to set up all berries uh, things as well. We should convert these all berries in this. So basically, these berries give you XPs. All berries, what you do is you throw them in here. I think it's like that. Wait, it's a full, full grid. And essentially, it's free metal. There's some copper. There's some iron. And here, we can't get aluminium, but yeah, it would be. And uh, if you set up a berry picker with these inside like a dark place, it's basically just free metal forever. But yeah, now we have this new machine here called the Metalformer. I made this one here last episode as well as these. So we've got IC2 and thermal expansion. We'll probably make a pulverizer eventually and possibly get some machines up here that are powered so we can have some quick uh, quick stuff up here. And you know what? Before we go, we will make that project table. Actually, hang on. There is something called a crafting station that um, basically keeps your items. I found this watching Hypno's video. If we throw them in there, throw them in again to make half sized. Basically, I'm going to put this. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it there. And basically, this. This keeps all the items. So, look, I can. And it's all there, and it accesses the chest next to it, which happens to be the wrong chest. Uh. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll flip these two over so that we can access the right chest uh, when we when we want to do our stuff so that we have everything right here to use. And then this one here is going to be my portable one that I carry around. So we'll grab out some coal for this furnace. And that's that. So thank you guys for watching. And I will, go, I will see you in the next episode.